to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position N on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position N on the green scale. Collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. For internal and external rotation we will need the ankle adapter and the foot plate. These are often left attached to one another. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. Rotate the chair to 82 degrees on the black scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the chair foreaft to position 15. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the chair back angle to 0 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 0 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 10 degrees on the black scale. Then adjust the height to 5. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 75. The dyno input arm must have its short end pointing towards the 12 o'clock position for this pattern. Install the ankle adapter into the short end of the dyno input arm. Ensure the tube is facing towards the seat. Pull the locking pin to slide into place. Now attach the footplate to the ankle adapter using the IR slash ER point. Slide fully into place then secure with a screw. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to lay on the chair. Ensure the subject's foot hits the footplate. To secure the foot to the footplate start by loosely affixing the straps across the foot. Then adjust the strap points to the widest part of the foot. Pinch together, making sure they are firmly pressed into the foot. Then lock in place using the screw. Finally tighten the straps making sure to tighten the uppermost strap first. The axis of rotation is set once the heel of the foot is opposite the black dot on the dynamometer input arm. Adjust by loosening the ankle adapter and extending or shortening the tube. Finally, if required, attach the lap belt by looping around the chair handles. The subject may also use the long handles on the chair back to aid stability.